Ezra Shalashi, 3 Ezra 7. Then Tatanai, the governor of Silo, Aram, and Phoenicia, and Shathar, Bozanai, with their companions, following the commandments of King Dariavish, did very carefully oversee the holy works, assisting the ancients of the Yahudim and governors of the temple. And so the holy works prospered when Haggai and Zachariahu, the prophets, prophesied. And they finished these things by the commandment of Yahuwah Elohim of Yashar El. And with the consent of Koresh, Daryavish, and Artach Shashta, kings of Persia. And thus was the holy house finished in the three and twentieth day of the month Adar, in the sixth year of Daryavish, king of the Persians. And the children of Yashadael, the priests and the Leviim, and others that were of the captivity, that were added unto them, did according to the things written in the Sefer of Moshe. And to the dedication of the temple of Yahweh, they offered a hundred bullocks, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and twelve goats for the sin of all Yashar'el, according to the number of the chief of the tribes of Yashar'el. The priests also, and the Leviim, stood arrayed in their vestments, according to their kindreds, in the service of Yahweh, Elohim, of Yashar'el, according to the Sefer of Moshe, and the porters at every gate. And the children of Yashad El, that were of the captivity, held the Pikach the fourteenth day of the first month. After that the priests and the Leviim were sanctified. They that were of the captivity were not all sanctified together, but the Leviim were all sanctified together. And so they offered the Pekach for all them of the captivity, and for their brethren, the priests, and for themselves. And the children of Yashadael that came out of the captivity did eat, even all they that had separated themselves from the abominations of the people of the land, and sought Yahweh. And they kept the feasts, rather feast of matzah, seven days, making merry before Yahweh. For that he had turned the counsel of the king of Ashur toward them to strengthen their hands in the works of Yahweh Elohim of Yashar'el.